Hey everybody, Aaron from Taylor here with my friend Daniel. And today we'll play and compare three killer models featuring our Grand Pacific body style. We've got the Builders Edition 717E WHB with Rosewood and Torrified Sitka Spruce. We have its mahogany sibling, the Builders Edition 517E with mahogany and Torrified Sitka Spruce. And from our American Dream series, the AD17E Blacktop with oven call back and sides and a spruce top. All three have solid wood tops, back and sides, and our V-class bracing architecture inside. First, Daniel will play a strumming pattern on each, then we'll do a finger style playthrough. So let's start with the Builders Edition 717E WHB. This has Indian rosewood back and sides and a torrified Sitka spruce top. The WHB stands for Wild Honey Burst Top. So with this guitar, the rosewood back and sides add a lot of harmonic richness to the sound. So the notes and chords tend to be pretty luxurious as they ring out. At times it's almost like there's a little reverb blended in. And with V-class bracing, you get a pretty robust tonal output with that clear low end power and strong dynamic range. One other thing I'll mention about the feel of the neck, both this and the Mahogany Builders Edition Grand Pacific have a compound carved neck profile. Basically, the neck profile changes in a subtle way as it moves towards the body to match the way your hand position shifts as it moves up the neck. So it's really, really comfortable. Now let's hear the mahogany version, the Builders Edition 517E WHB with mahogany back and sides and a torrified spruce top. So compared to the Rosewood version, which has a more complex type of sound with those harmonic overtones, Mahogany is drier, a little clearer, more focused, woodier, uh, with a stronger emphasis on the fundamental. Basically, the notes you play are the notes you get. So it's a different flavor, but still with that Grand Pacific personality. Warm, robust, with clear low end power. All right, on to the AD17E blacktop with oven call back and sides and a spruce top. Okay, here you've got oven call flavoring the sound. The tone profile is definitely closer to rosewood with nice harmonic complexity in the lows and highs. With V-Class bracing, you have good volume and sustain all the way up the fretboard. One other tone enhancer with the American Dream guitars is a super thin finish on the back and sides, which minimizes damping and makes the guitar really feel and sound alive in your hands. All right, now let's hear some finger style on each guitar. This time, Daniel will play straight through from one guitar to the next. So Daniel, what stood out to you about those three guitars? Well, um, I've been playing this guitar, the AD-17 and the 517, and what I loved about this Grand Pacific is how they sound in front of a microphone in the studio. 
uh, which I do a lot of recording in the studio, so I love that. Like, it just sounds great out of the box. <laughs> awesome. So I, I probably know the answer again because you own a couple of these, but I guess it's hard. To, it's like kids, like trying to figure out which one's your favorite. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask yeah. you here, which one's your favorite? <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard to choose, but I, I, I would, I would go with the 517. That's I fell in love since the first time I, I, I played it. Great. That guitar is awesome, like you said, for recording. Yeah. Nice, natural, woody, mid-range. The notes just kind of bloom and rig out. They're all three really good, but, you know, that's your favorite, so that's <laughs> yeah. great. Now we want to know what you all think, so let us know at the comments below what you thought and what your favorite was. All right, how about one last playthrough as we go sure. out, and thanks to all of you once again for watching.